We carry with us 20 years of great history. It's in the hours we work and the time we have off. It's in the pay we get and the retirement we've earned. There's history in the coats in our backs and the equipment we use and even in the air that we breathe. Because every piece of gear we have, every benefit we enjoy, was won for us by our brothers and sisters, brave enough to stand together and fight like no other uniformed agency in the country, and to secure for each of us a better place. In 1901, the history of the Bureau of Fire Protection started when the United States Philippine Commission organized the Manila Fire Department. Initially, there were four substations, Tanduay, Paco, Santa Cruz, and Intramuros. In 1935, Deputy Chief Jacinto Lorenzo became the first Filipino Fire Chief of Manila Fire Department. In 1974, Three years after the declaration of police and jail services, the Manila Fire Department became Fire District 1. In 1975, Presidential Decree 765 was enacted. It provided for the integration of police, fire and jail into the integrated national police. In 1977, Presidential Decree 1185 or the Fire Code of the Philippines was promulgated. RA 6975, known as the DILG Act of 1990, paved the way for the establishment of the PNP, BJMP, and the BFP as separate entities. BFP carried out the following functions. Fire prevention, fire suppression, arson investigation, enforcement of the fire code of the Philippines establishment of at least one fire station in every city and municipality. In 1991, General Madriaga served as the first acting fire chief director of the BFP. To keep updated with the international collar for firefighting, the Bureau of Fire Protection changed the colors of its uniform from light blue to midnight blue. With the advent of information technology, the BFP launched its official website in 2001. It has been maintained and operated by the EDPU. The 9-11 New York tragic incident in 2001 that brought horror to the whole world prompted the BFP to train its personnel in weapon of mass destruction. In 2002, the first WMD, First Responders Training, was conducted with the support of the United States Anti-Terrorism Assistance Program. In 2003, the first Mass Casualty Emergency Medical Training was conducted. In 2004, the Promotion of Safety Against Fire Emergencies, or PRO-SAFE, came into existence. On March 2004, RA 9263 was enacted. It provides for the professionalization and restructuring of the BFP and BJMP, upgrading their level of qualifications, making it at par with the PNP and the AFP. The impending attrition of some 6,000 BFP uniformed personnel for failure to comply with the upgraded qualification standards was prevented with the passage of RA 9592 in 2009. On August 2004, the Kitty Junior Fire Marshal Project was launched to prepare the youth to be vigilant, not only with the fire incidents and other emergencies, but also in preventing the occurrence of destructive fire. In 2008, the BFP had its first Lady General when Senior Superintendent Nympha D. Quartel was promoted to the rank of Chief Superintendent. In December 2008, President Macapagal Arroyo signed into law Republic Act 9514, known as the Revised Fire Code of the Philippines of 2008, which repeals the 31st antiquated PD 1185. Under the new law, 
80% of the funds emanating from the fire code fees, taxes and penalties and fines imposed and collected will be deposited in a special account of the BFP for the modernization. 20% shall comprise the LGU share. In 2009, the BFP formulated and disseminated the BFP Citizens Charter, which aims to cut the delays in the issuance of fire safety inspection certificates. This is in compliance with RA 9485 or the Anti-Red Tape Act of 2007. In the same year, the BFP was awarded by the PAGC as one of the top 10 government agencies compliant with the anti-red tape of the government. We tend to fill up the deficiency by intensifying revenue earning capability under amended fire code of 2008 to train and field more fire code revenue collection officers to computerize the fire code fee assessment and collection to identify possible official development assistance and bilateral funding sources that may be tapped for availment of soft loans for multi-year supply and deliveries of firefighting, EMS and rescue equipage. The major thrust of the fire prevention efforts of the BFP is to undertake a massive and sustained information campaign to institutionalize and ensure proper implementation of the fire safety provisions of the amended fire code. Professionalize the fire safety enforcement through training of fire safety inspectors. Create cooperative endeavors with professional groups and lateral coordination with other government agencies. In addition to transferring the national headquarters, the move will also co-locate the fire laboratory. This will pave the way for the continuing program for the acquisition of laboratory equipment. Extra efforts will also be exerted to source out scholarships and similar foreign trainings of investigators. Continuous training of EMTs and rescuers. The BFP will also continue to strengthen coordination with Patrol 117 and private pre-hospital providers. In coordination with DILG, we'll implement the public safety information system to operationalize a comprehensive database capability for mission critical functions of fire suppression, prevention, investigation, and EMS and rescue operations. Among others, the initiative will include distance learning program, customized educational curriculum study programs in coordination with the Civil Service Commission and in-house review class programs. Congratulations to all Filipino firefighters for reaching this 20th anniversary of the Bureau of Fire Protection. Sa nakalipas sa dalawang dekada, together we have accomplished a lot. Even as we also surpassed so many challenges along with it, from here on, let us continue to work hand in hand so that we will be able to achieve more. Everyone plays an important role towards the attainment of our mandated tasks. We envision a modernized fire protection agency, kaya tayong lahat ay magtulong-tulong para malalo nating mapaunlad ang Bureau of Fire Protection. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. The BFP is composed of more than 16,777 strong personnel assigned in the various BFP field offices nationwide. In addition to our safety and operations personnel, the Bureau is also composed of doctors, lawyers, engineers, nurses, and teachers. With more than 1,887 fire trucks distributed all over the Philippine archipelago, ready to serve and to respond to any call of emergency.